January 14th, 2012. This recording is from August 25th, 1226 p.m. We are a debt collector. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Please say or enter the account number or say, I don't have it. I don't have it. Do you want to access your account using the borrower's social security number and property zip code instead? Yes. I'm going to fast forward. Please stay or enter the social security record. I don't have it. Um, I punched in my social already, though. And this call may or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes as well. Um, I'm in the hospital, and I just got a phone call from your bank stating that you didn't receive my payment. I've called the Union Bank. They said no, the payment's been made. I just want to make sure there wasn't another drastic error on Bank of America's part. Are they trying to make me lose my house? Okay, did you say this call is being recorded? It may or may not be. Okay, can you have just a moment? Of course. Three minutes and 20 seconds right now. I'm going to fast forward. Direct deposit is for the last 10 Yes. Can I get your last name, please? Leva, L-I-V-A. I'm in the hospital. L-I-V-A. Yes, ma'am. And your first name? Patrick. I mean, are there that many incompetent people there? I get calls two or three times a week. My loan modification has been approved. I told them I don't want that piece of garbage loan that they're trying to give people. And I keep getting calls, and now I'm getting calls stating that my loan payment wasn't made when it's been set up direct deposit. This is okay, borderline. Can you, can you verify your phone number and your property address, please? 
Okay, can you hold for just one moment, please? My battery's going dead and I'm in the hospital. Okay, if you can hold just one moment, and I'll hold research for you. Thank you. Your Honor, I did lie, but this is how you're going to get your factual data to prove that's why they send people into tailspins, because they make up their own agendas. I'm going to fast forward. We're at 8 minutes and 51 seconds so far. Twelve minutes. So eight, nine, ten, eleven, four minutes. My name is Lisa. I'm a supervisor here in the home retention department. Wonderful. And I understand that you're disputing a fee. Is that correct? I am. No, I've been making my payments for ten years direct deposit on time. I get call, a call today saying that I didn't make my mortgage payment. I'm in the hospital. What was the fee for? And yes, I would like to dispute the fee. You guys charged me October, November, December last year $130 each month totaling over $450 in fees because you guys paid yourself late. I don't need this aggravation right now. Can you just find out what it is so we can get it resolved, please? Let me just take a look at the camera real quick. So you're talking about late charges. For what? I don't understand it. Okay. Give me one second. Let me just take a look at the camera real quick. And then I keep getting phone calls. You, you've accomplished your um, modification trial period. The very first check I walked to the bank, I videotaped me handing it to the person and I said, I do not want your loan. I also faxed my cancellation letter to this gentleman, Mark Schwartz. If you need his phone number, it's the top number. And if you need his fax number, that goes right to his computer. So, I mean, no one knows what anyone else is doing and now you're going to stick me with late fees because of their incompetence? It doesn't make sense. It's been paid on time. Why did I get a phone call from a woman saying that my payment wasn't made this month? I mean, don't these people have real jobs? Give me one second. Thank there you. are no late fees on the account. Then why would I get a phone call saying that my, my mortgage hasn't been made? Give me one second. Thank you. It looks, it looks like we got a payment in the amount of $2,800. And it's been that way for 10 years. Okay, okay. Let me look at something because you have work code on the account, which is causing the payment to sit on what we call partial. So August 25th. I think I still had codes on it from now, this year, from last year. Let me look at the account. Let me see what's going on. Are you, did you sign up for any type of work out assistance, Mr. Lyman? Nothing. No. Nothing. Okay. I told them to keep their loan. It was a garbage loan. I have 6.25. I'll be paid off in 22 years. They're trying to give me some kind of negative amortization. They don't disclose it up front. I've got Congresswoman Susan Davis's office involved. You guys are stealing. Just give me one second. I appreciate your help. I do. Okay. okay. And if you'd like, on your own time later, check YouTube. Patrick, one, six, seven, eight, no spaces. And you'll see what I mean. Bear with me one second. So you didn't accept any of the trial payments that were sent to you, right? Nothing, no. I told them it was trash, garbage. Why would I want to get rid of a 6.25 fix and take a negative amortization? Doesn't matter. And only save $700 a month. The annoying part for me, I've got a neighbor. He's saving $1,900 on his modification. B of A keeps telling me it's Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, which is our government. Hmm. Congress, any words of wisdom? Is that what could be glitching it up? They think I'm still enrolled in a program? Are they what? Are they going to short sell my house next? No, sir. That's not the case. That's why I'm trying to okay. get everything resolved Thank for you. you. Thank you. Can we just look at some other things real quick okay. here? Yes. That's why I'm trying to get everything resolved here. My question to her was, are they going to try and take my house? No, sir. That's why I'm trying to get everything resolved here. Do you see the fragments and the fear that they instill in clients by not being knowledgeable when they're trying to fix issues? It doesn't take a rocket scientist, folks.
me one second here. The one thing it's asking me to verify, and you may have done this with the previous associate, but can you verify your email address for me? Uh, Realtor01 at Cox.net, possibly. Okay, thank you. Yes. Let me just, okay. What I'm going to actually have to do is submit an email to get you out of review for the, the workout. So you, Please. The funds that we, right. It is. It's very simple, but it does take some time for everything to be done. Okay. Okay. But I do show that we received the $2,800. Yes. We received that. And like I said, we received that on the August the 10th. The reason why the count is showing past due is because of the fact that the workout codes. So let me submit that email for you to get the workout codes taken off the account and get your payment applied, and that will take care of, of the... That's August. January 1st, they were still on there. The following year, the workout codes. My house is still not back in trust. Yeah, any late fees that may have been assessed, right? Okay, perfect. So, give me one second here. She's going to check for any late fees that may have been assessed. The only late fees are you guys. You guys made me late. You paid yourself late. Over $350 in late fees. If you multiply that by the millions of Americans doing this and making homes affordable, Bank of America is stealing. And no one cares. And Mr. Lava, I understand that and I apologize for that. But the late fees... Oh, she apologizes for their stealing. That's a good one, huh? The workout codes on the count. That's what can cause the late fees. I think the workout codes on there. I'm just being made aware of it now. Okay, can I understand that? But you guys never put anything in writing, ever. You were actually sent email or information. Okay, but what I will do, let me send the email to get the code, check it off the account, Thank and get you. The, the, the late fees taken care Great. of as well. Could I possibly get a call back just to know that it's been taken care of? I'm in the hospital, I'm not well. Okay, I understand that. I can give you a call back, but it can take about a week. That's right. Like, that's wonderful. Uh, that's perfect. What, what is the best number to reach it's you? 619-997-8618. 619-997-8618. And you're on Pacific time zone, correct? I am uh, California. Right. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. You're fine. And is your property currently occupied as well? It is, yes. I thought I was done with all this, but thank you for your help. Well, you're quite welcome. Just bear with me one second here. Okay. And uh, let me also ask, you yeah, have in the past, have you been provided the Health and an Urban Development Center, which is 1-800-569-4287? Those people. She knows I'm in the hospital, and she's just throwing numbers at me. Didn't ask, do you have a pen? Nothing. I don't know what they're doing either. They told me to sell my house. They don't have any kind of plan.
She just said once the codes are removed, we'll be able to get the payments applied correctly. We're in next year. The codes are still on there. Does that mean, from what she just stated on August 25th at 1226, that my payments haven't been made all year from last year? See what I mean about things not adding up? Once that is done, you can go back to having your automatic payments set up, and then that way you can have them on back. What do you mean? What do you mean set up? They're already set up for twenty eight hundred dollars a month. I have to change that, or no? No, no, no. Okay. No, no. You'll remove the fees that were additional charges. I will take care of the late fees that are on the account. Thank you. You have no other fees on this account. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And so she just acknowledged she'll remove the late fees, but there are no other fees. So there's acknowledgement in a tape recording that I had a lie to get out of them to prove to you. Bank of America is not ethical. I said I will give you a call in about a week. Great. So a week from today is the first. If I have an answer before then, then I will Great. give you a call before then. Thank you for being very much different than a lot of the other people there. I appreciate your professionalism. Well, you're quite welcome, Mr. Lyman. You have a wonderful okay. day, and I hope you get better soon. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Bye. Okay. There was a lot happening all at once back then. Dog died, partner left, kidney stones, had to sell an RV for 10 grand less than it was worth, Bank of America doing their tricks. Um, someone I cared very deeply for decided to drink on antidepressants. And that's done. The reason I bring it up isn't to make that person feel bad. The reason I bring it up is because when people drink on antidepressants, it can get very ugly. You saw me on antidepressants without alcohol. Just imagine if I was on alcohol. I would have been in jail, especially with the way the doctors do not follow up when they give out pills. Doctors give out pills that were developed for other issues, and they create a need. Paxil is a really good example. That was not designed for depression. It's for social anxiety disorder. And there are many, many people that are on them, very dangerous. I'm just trying to provide proof that the system that is in place needs some fine tuning. That's why I've latched on to Congresswoman Susan Davis, so they can be our example of how powerless they really are, because they haven't been able to get me out of this hole on either count. But Balboa Naval Medical Center doing a hate crime, they referred me back into the wolf's den. Jeff Apana, they told me to contact him if I had any issues. I did. He didn't contact me for a week, several. I left several messages, several emails. Then when I get the next person in line, you know the story. I'm not going to rant. But I was in the hospital, and Bank of America is calling me and harassing me. Just so you know, folks. 